Hello everyone, or should I say howdy? It's getting time for the uh, Calgary Stampede coming up. So we're gonna make some Stampede earrings today. I've got these two pairs here that I've already made and uh, get them up so you can see close. We've got a hat on one side and feathers and a horse in the middle and another and a boot on the other side. So they're all symbols of uh, the Stampede. And I've used this um, kind of a pinwheel circle that has all the loops to attach and then of course a shepherd hook to go through the ear. So I used a black stone on this one. I put a little rhinestone in the middle here because these come with just nothing in the middle like this and uh, they look nice with a little rhinestone. So this one has the black uh, bead and then I did them with a clear bead as well. This, this one here. So let's get going on making some stampede earrings. Here we go. I've got the uh, the frame like this that we're going to use, and we've got the horse for the middle, and uh, a hat for the one side, and a boot for the other side, and then a feather that goes between each one, like so. And what I've used, I'm going to show you how to make a specialty little uh, finding that's going to help to hook the, ho the boot on because the boot has a really thick piece at the top here. And that's a little bit difficult to go through a regular uh, jump ring. And we're using a five millimeter jump ring to hook everything together. And uh, a p two pairs of uh, chain nose pliers, which will help to open the jump rings. So we're going to get going on these jump rings. We'll open this one first and hook the little hat on. Oh, no. Here we go. There's... And so just hook the hat onto one side. It doesn't really matter which side to start with, but we want to do them on the opposite side when you go to do the, the uh, second side so that the, when you see from the front of the earring, you're going to see that they uh, are the same piece. That's not absolutely essential. A lot of purchased earrings don't have them made that way, but when you're making them yourself, we want to be them, make them more perfect. Okay, so the second jump ring I'm going to put on the feather, and I'm going to show you a little trick on that one, because sometimes it's really hard. The feathers are one-sided, and it's really hard to get the two fronts to match up when you're putting these jump rings on. Again, always open your jump ring in on itself. So take the uh, feather and we're going to put the two right sides together, the right side of my piece and the right side of my um, feather charm. And we're going to run that jump ring through. Oops, I didn't open it far enough, so we'll give it another little twist. I don't like to open them any more than necessary, but sometimes necessary is a little bigger than you want. Okay, so... Here we go. Get that ring to go through that side there. And then on the front side of the feather, and we'll just grab that there. And this one with this pair and match them up again. They're all nicely matched up. And I put the feather in the middle instead of on the one side. So we'll just change that. Goes into this one right here. Now you want to be sure that these jump rings are really well closed because of course an earring that has all of these pieces is going to move around a lot and that will cause it to uh, come loose if it's at all uh, not closed at all. You want to make sure they're very well closed. Oh, see, just like that, the, the uh, feather fell off because I didn't have this jump ring properly closed. You can use stainless steel jump rings, which are a little bit harder to work with and a little bit stronger, and they will not open up as easily. There we are. Get that closed as clo tight as I can there. Okay. So we're going to continue to put everything on. 
the horse only f does have one side because its back side is is uh, different, so they have to face the same direction. But now the little finding that I want to show you how to make for the boot is just a little piece just like this and it has the circle that goes one direction and then it goes the other direction. And the benefit of making that over using two jump rings is that they don't hang quite as long. So we're gonna go with the, um, uh, make a circle, a single circle this way. And then I'm gonna cut the piece off to just be enough for the other circle, like about that length. I'm using 20 gauge wire. And now to make this other circle going, so this one is the one that goes this way, so I want one to come this way. So I've got the circle. So I'm gonna hold with a pair of chain nose pliers because this is such a small little piece, it's really hard on the fingers if you try and hold it with your fingers to make this circle. And then we'll grab and we'll make a circle going this direction. Now there's no need to completely close these because they're going to have to hook on anyway. So I've made this one slightly bigger. I'm going to use it for the hooking the boot because as I was showing you, it has quite a thick top on it. And it does need even more opening. There. Yeah, you have to watch the charm sometimes that have those really thick openings because a standard jump ring doesn't always fit. So I've got it going that way. Now this circle will have to go into the, have to turn it one more time and it goes into the, the setting here. Here we go. So have the boot hanging so that it sits sideways. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook on all the rest of these and uh, I'll show you a picture of them already made up when we're finished. And thanks for watching.